Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D Free. Here today we are jumping in to uh, some gameplay here. Now we have a team that 100% does deserve an actual leader. That's not the Gohan, of course. I'm talking about the Planet Namek Saga team. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit subscribe if you're new for more content. And I want to ask you guys for today's question of the day. Let me know what character you think should lead this. I think that there are a few candidates, right? There's like Captain Ginyu. Uh, you know, like I don't really think that'll happen for one, but he's 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 a possible option. You know, Frieza, Vegeta are options. Not Frieza, excuse me, Piccolo, of Vegeta are options. And then we get down to the real good options, which is Frieza, and then transforming base to Super Saiyan Goku. Which I'll, I think, if they were to make one, that would probably be what would happen. So let me know in the comments how you guys would draft that unit, how you guys would create that unit as well. So. uh to commemorate it as well, we are taking on one of the Frieza events in the game. So what I want to do though, for the most part, and uh, Mega Protea, thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. What I want to do for the most part is get the Gokus on one rotation and the Vegetas on, er, Vegetas, man, the Frieza's on another. So, um, the funny thing is they're kind of like mismatched. I have a Goku here and a Frieza on the other one. It's not like it's necessarily bad. This Goku uh, links pretty well with this Frieza and like this rotation. Actually, never mind. I take that back because this Goku doesn't have over in a flash. So yeah, Frieza has to go. So Frieza will be going. But he does get Fierce Battle at least. So I guess we'll give him that. All right. So to start us off, uh, Gohan is kind of just... Gohan and Piccolo aren't going to do much by my approximation. Like I'm not going to put them in positions where they do a whole lot. But they're nice to have. And I want to put the floater option out there as like the one that should be the leader. Krillin. Hear me out. Krillin was the catalyst, right? His, his, his death was the catalyst for what happened there. So, bittersweet sleeper option. Make it happen, Ben. No, don't make it happen. I'm so, I'm so, I don't know. I want to Dokkan Fest Krillin, but I don't want one that, like, blows up. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, anyways. Uh, well, Gohan's in a bad position. I didn't even consider that. I was too busy. Uh, with my soliloquy there. All right, moving on. Uh, so, Gohan, you'll take 34. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought he was going to get destroyed, man. He's not too bad. All right. At least he gets a super. No crit, though. Can I? Ooh, the level three. Okay. Can I talk about that HP, though? That Like, what is that? Triple zeros at the end? Okay, Goku. He's going to take one hit there. Yeah, 236,000 even. Pretty, pretty cool, man. I was going to say pretty bad. Not bad. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, freeze the doubles. Pog champ. By the way, today's video like gold. If you guys enjoyed today's video, by the way, is a whopping 1K likes if we can get us up there. Okay, so Frieza, unfortunately. Wait, no, no, no. I floated Frieza last time, so I need to leave Frieza here. Man, we don't want a repeat of what happened in the other video recently where I did that, like, back to back. It was pretty bad. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter what I do here. He's going to get hit, spike his attack, and that should be enough to beat the opponent. And then we'll move on to the next round. Uh, so Frieza's going to hit Frieza. This Frieza's an insanely good unit, though. This Frieza and the Kaioken Goku that came out alongside their transforming variants are insanely good units. Like, they're really, really good. Can we not do that? Can we not do that? Okay, 30k isn't too bad. I don't mind that. I'm sitting here like, wait, can we not do that, please? I just want to live my life. All right. Uh, next round. Okay. Oh, he's golden now. Oh, he's golden. All right. You know, Piccolo is actually kind of useful against this phase. But I'm going to put Goku back in the front so Goku can get, uh, get those hits. So since that is what we're doing, we're going to give Goku those. Go hunt. Go hunt. And last spot. Kind of scared for Goku in the front, not going to lie. Kind of scared. Let me see the stats. 46,000 defense. 47, basically. Um, Kind of scared. Kind of scared, not going to lie. That should make enough of a difference, even if we get supered. Which we did. I figured we would. See? That's what I'm talking about. Had a reason to be scared, and I figured the super would do 100k. Okay, there we go. There we go. That evened out kind of the way I thought it would. 
Okay. Imagine Kaioken Goku versus Golden Frieza. And the, the whopping, the whooping, whopping? Whopper? I don't know. The whooping he would take, man. The whooping. Get that whooping, boy. Oh, I just saw Nail's face for the first time in like forever. I forgot Nail's in the card art. Okay. All right. I know that he transforms by assimilating with Nail, but I forgot he was in the card art. I love how I didn't float the Goku last time. I was so focused on not floating the Frieza that I didn't float the Goku. <laughs> and I said, I was like, yo, we're not going to get a repeat of that. Sure enough, we got an opposite repeat. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I think it was a Super Battle Road video where I, yeah, yeah, it was, where I did the Shadow Dragon one, which I don't know what, what was going on with me. Like, I was using so many items I didn't need to. In that video, I, like, floated units, and I was like, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to be floating. I'm supposed to be leaving one. And if you don't know what the terminology is, when you put a unit in the last spot, I haven't explained rotations in so long. Uh, it actually matters who you put there. Keep the ones you want to keep together together, and whoever goes in the third spot shows up in, in three turns. So this time, this Goku will come back alongside the other Goku. So yeah, um, shout out to Mammoth. Um, but yeah, anyways, we'll just kind of proceed from here. That Frieza should be able to beat it from here. There's no reason at all why you shouldn't be able to beat it from this range. All right. Die! That was, that was kind of cringy, I'm not going to lie. I don't, even know, I don't even know what came over me. Like, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's, you know what, you don't want to know too, like, part of the inspiration for this is Wendy and I are actually watching Dragon Ball Z over. And, uh, well, this is our first time through. And we're currently in the Frieza Saga, and Goku just got out of the, uh, the healing chamber and stuff like that. So he's about, you know, he's fighting Frieza. They just finished their first round, their warm-ups. And stuff like that and Goku's about to start actually doing this right here so that's part of why I was like you know what let me revisit that team man and uh, Frieza says that in, in, in the show so yeah there we go all right it came all full circle back to the die all right um Gohan gets bonus key so that's cool uh, but I kind of want to put Kai and eh, whatever oh boy I forget that Gohan gets the bonus key. I think Piccolo does too. I could be wrong, but I'll see in a moment when Piccolo shows up next turn. But I don't even pay attention to that half the time. I mean, like, at this point, I kind of don't have to as much as I used to. You know, this game has evolved so much in the four years I've been playing it, man. Like, you, there used to be a time where you had to pay really, really strict attention to what you have. Now, sometimes you do have to. I mean, like, sometimes, of course, like Super Battle Road, Easy A's, or whatever the case is, right? Battlefield, some of the harder content. But with this type of stuff, not really, unless you're using a team like this. All right. Yes! I can do it! I can win! Woo, girl. Hold on. Man, cringe free is in full effect in this video. All right, so we have double freezes the way I wanted. But I'm going to let this one go in the front spot, let him take care of business there. Sorry, Piccolo, you're not really here to do much. But I will give you the rainbows. Because you know how much you like rainbows. Uh, 1.3. Can we get that crit? Oh, no crit necessary because we get that easy A damage. Okay, I, I feel it. All right, final round. I go no power. Okay. Oh, hey, look. It's uh, it's the Goku that survives every hit. Or the, every one KO hit, excuse me, survives every hit is a gross overestimation. Uh, we'll go with that. I want to kind of let, I'll give him that. I was going to say, I kind of want to let Gohan do some more stuff. But give Gohan these. Gohan hasn't been able to do much because he hasn't needed to, right? Um, I'll use the Whis here. That Kaioken Goku should basically be at max power now. That's just one of the many things that I haven't been, like, really monitoring, right? But nonetheless, we have type advantage anyway. So triple digits, double digits. This is going to be quad digits. It's going to be like 20K. It's going to be about 20K. That's more than quad, right? But still. 25. Okay, attack up, defense down. 1.3. I think that's about where we're going to max out without any support and with this type of leader. Now, I didn't cover the leader skill because I assumed that most of you guys knew it. But it's three key 77% to the Plan Dynamic Saga. Pretty sure it's 77. Could be, oh, okay. Could be 70, but I'll double check. I'm pretty sure it's 77, though. 
All right, Gohan. Sorry, man. You don't really do a whole lot here, I guess, probably because you're not necessary to do a whole lot. Anyways, we're going to put this freeze on the front. I really wish that this freeze could, could, could uh, get those recurring attacks. But unfortunately, since there's no front spot attack, he's not going to get that. We'll give you those. And we're going to start. Next round, we have Dokkan attack with Kaioken Goku. And I'll actually go for it, of course. All right. We get it. You're the real Frieza. That's the imposter. Imagine seeing Frieza's freeze, like three strongest forms in this one video. Yeah. Unless I'm forgetting one. Am I forgetting one? Nah. Oh, wow. I was just talking about how we we're going to get a Dokkan attack. And this guy, I forget that he's an easy A unit. But, like, he's, he's really good, right? So, he's obviously get that SA level 15 and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Well, nonetheless, though, I, I didn't actually double check. But, whatever. Uh, on a side note, though, there is kind of like a branch of this category, too, where there's like the Ginyu Force and then the LR Ginyu Force, and you can do all that nonsense, but not nonsense, one of the best free teams in the game. But nonetheless, though, I do hope that we do get a category for this team at some point. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys would do if you were tasked with, like, if Akatsuki came to you, the developers of the game, and were like, yo, we want you to develop a Frieza Saga, a dynamic saga leader. Who would it be? How would you do it? Uh, would they be transforming or not? Like I said, I think transforming Goku just because the symbolism would be the one. But uh, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. 2,000 likes is our goal. Was it 2,000? I don't know. Anyways, I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day and take it easy, everybody.